So welcome to How to Mac and this is about how to edit movies, your home movies in iTunes, moving them from your home videos tab to appear in the movies tab along with your purchased movies from iTunes. Ones you may have purchased somewhere else on DVD or Blu-ray and transcoded into a format which iTunes can accept into the library and imported and you want it to appear here where you're looking at now in this movies tab. As you see some don't have thumbnails, those are the ones which I've imported. I'm now going to take this one which my cursor is on, The Heat, which I bought the other day on Blu-ray and I transcoded and I'm going to add an icon to it and make it appear with thumbnail with movie poster as you are seeing in this section with most of the movies. Those which don't have a thumbnail are those which I haven't yet added a thumbnail to but I have transported into the movie section. So, with no further ado, if you watch my cursor which is now moving over the heat, I'm going to right click and go to Get Info. We open Get Info and then uh, you will have a lot of different tabs for editing so if you look where I'm going you see add artwork so I already went to Firefox I lower this save dialog window so you can see I found the poster for the movie I'm going to download it into iTunes and It's still in home movies, not yet in movies, so it'll be in the home movies folder, home videos folder. And save it in there for now. It doesn't really matter where you save it, to be honest. Because iTunes will make a database copy of it. So we now go back to iTunes, go to the artwork upload dialog. The window opens, Ooh, yes, which is this. We then go to the allocated folder where we have just saved the thumbnail. There it is, top right, the red one, the heat. We now add it, and then we go to this option where you see it's a home video. We now use this drop down list to change it to movie. You can give it stars if you want. You can also have a synopsis added in one of the other tabs as a description. Uh, it takes a little while, once you press OK it takes a little while for the data to be transported and for this dialog window to close so when I press OK you will see mm. so so we have now pressed the button I'll press it again in a second to make sure but while we're waiting you can see you can give a star rating you can set it to return to the same volume. There are certain different settings depending on what kind of file it is that you can also add here. Um, in another video I'll show you all the tabs, uh, what to do with each of them. But you can see a little bit here, you can add a description. This description, this blank field is where you would see the description when you click on the movie in your movies tab of iTunes. As with purchase movies, there will be a short synopsis. So if you wish, you can add a short synopsis in these fields. And add the metadatas. It will, you can even add a gallery, actually, which will appear later. You, there's no tab visible, but actually some movies have a gallery, and when they do, then you will see that available in iTunes. You can also do that with your own edited videos. I shall show that another day, which is part of the it's kind of like iTunes Extras does so you can make your own special extras so now the metadata is just about gone there it's gone disappeared now click on movies away from the home video tab go to movies and see has it appeared yes it has the heat there it is on the second row seventh from the left or fourth from the right it's got its thumbnail just looks like the other movies some of the most of these I bought in iTunes the ones without thumbnails you can see they were not bought yet I have to add thumbnails just as I have done with this movie the heat 
So now you see how you can make your imported movies appear within the same movie section as your iTunes purchases. Find a thumbnail, try to get about a thousand pixels, 900 pixel example, 500 pixel ones won't look good if you're watching on Apple TV or something. Uh, so make sure you get a clear thumbnail, clear a good sized thumbnail picture of the poster image from the movie. And that's about it really. I think uh, this is a way to the home videos or home movie sections for me should be really for home movies. But a movie you buy on DVD or Blu-ray, transcode and import into your iTunes library, I believe should be able to display nicely within this section. I like to edit them. I think it gives an overall aesthetic and increases the quality of your enjoyment of uh, multimedia entertainment. And uh, this piece is, of course, the description. You can see this was bought in iTunes. So this is where you put the description if you wish to write a synopsis. As to the actor list, I don't see anywhere in these tabs where it appears if you look on the info about Iron Man movie here. So I don't know how to do that yet. I'm sure to let you know if I find out. But the synopsis, for sure, you can do. So that will also, uh, on your own edited movies, you click on it and you'll be able to see a synopsis if you add it in that video description tab. And uh, that's how to get your movies looking nice in the movie tab, transported. You can do the same with music and put them into podcasts. You just change the type. This way you can arrange your library how you want, not how Apple wants. Although I find how Apple does it, it's best to do it their way, and it works best. But this particular function, I, I liked to mess with and hack around with it a little bit, and I like how it displays, so I wanted it to share it with you. I hope this has been useful. This is a John Spencer from How to Mac, or How to Macable, if you like. Done. Uh, signing off. Have a nice day, and enjoy using your Mac and your iOS devices.